let me teach you how to do some sampling. I recommend that you start with the fruity slicer rather than that slice x. If you feel that you're good enough with sampling, you shouldn't probably use the slice x, but for now, we can use the fruity slicer. Simply click on this icon in the plugin, load your sample, and since FL we know comes with samples, we can just find them. Usually they're under packs. Let's start with a good beat. Why don't we do some drum synth? Loops. Let's do drum loops. Melodies are filled with a lot of different noises that can't be broken up. The slicer will break up sounds, like our funky monkey. We can change the tempo with this. I don't want to use their song. I want to make my own. These are all the different sounds. You get the idea. You can change volume. I recommend that you don't use the channel controllers. They're for more advanced players. You can use cutoff, renaissance, which doesn't make much of an effect, and panning. You can make one come up at the left, one come out the right. Now we've got that down. Let me show you how to use effects. You can hear this sound is really nice right now. But it's not very professional. And there's something missing that's not very um, likable about this simple waveform. So you're going to click on the sound that you have in your sequencer. Play a key. Listen to it now and set it to an FX channel by clicking on this. Drag it up to any number from 1 to 50 million. Then double click on that channel and it'll pop up. I picked number 4 for this channel. On the, on the right here we have numbers 1 through 8. If you play the key, you should see that the FX comes up. That means this is running through the FX channel. Your master channel will change every will add effects to anything that you add to it to every sound in the playlist. Now go ahead. Go from 1 to 8, you're allowed to select channels. If you want to get a really unique sound, I would recommend you start with the filter. This is the extra cutoff, not the one with the plug-in. Just as strong as the one in the plugin, you can hear the difference of the sound. It might be a little bit more muffled. For trance songs, you're probably going to want to use the Paramatic EQ. Trance artists like to write um, pieces that are that have uh, different frequencies to catch your mood. Now, say I want to change the type of mood that happens after a while. I don't want it to just stay in this frequency. I want it to change. What I'm going to do with my new X XL program, I'm going to click on the record button. There should be a menu that pops up that I ask not to see again, but it should ask you what you want to record. Just click the everything tab. This should be about down here, third, third from the bottom, third, uh, third from the top. Now what you're going to do, so you're going to find your pattern, S click a few notes. By the way, you can have this off when you add the notes. Now, let's slow this down so we can show you the effect. 
This is a time-based recording. Let's do this again, and let's see what happens when I change the FX paramedic, uh, paramedic EQ. Just hit, just hit spacebar when you're done. You don't have to click this off. That'll ruin your, your recording. You can delete them by pushing Control Alt Z. Now you can push play. Notice how it does it by itself, the same way you just did it. And that's what we're trying to accomplish here. For this pattern that you added the effect to, the effect will stick for that pattern. The great thing about XXL is that you can clone the patterns and add different types of effect changes. now we have two different FX patterns. They're both different and you can hear it. Also, if you don't like the exact sound that you once had, you can clone that too on your pattern sequencer. I mean on your sequencer. So you don't have to keep the same sound, but you can keep the same rhythm. That's good if you had a great idea for a rhythm for a song, but you didn't quite like the first sound, but you're afraid that it might change something completely drastically. You can just clone it. You can use anything here the way you'd like, because this is all up to you and your creativity. Like I said, these things take a long time and it takes a lot of patience to do them. So get used to being patient. This is a lie. You cannot get this for free. Hardcore is not for free anymore. Well, there you have it. You have all your channels, and you have everything you need. Let me show you something that I did myself. Hmm. We could do an old one. Notice how these play. Well, thanks. That's all it for the tutorial. Goodbye. See you next time.